Hello, and welcome to another episode of Pork Openings. This time it's for the Arceus Mythical Collection uh, box thingy, as you can see there, because it says Arceus. And also on the side, and... Ah, there it is, yes, in white. Um, and yeah, on the back, as usual, doesn't really say much, it kind of describes all of them and just adds Arceus on the bottom, tells you what you get in there. But the easier way of... Uh, showing you what you get in here, is by opening the box which is generally what uh, buying these things is intended for you could keep it in the box I guess and sell it on in several years time I know the Moo Mythical Collection box is already going for quite a lot of money so uh, you know, I guess if you want a future investment in Pokemon cards although I find it more fun when you can enjoy them um, and, as with always, there is the little uh, insert thing here that uh, tells you there's the checklist. There's the other boxes that are coming out. Um, you can get generation packs. Well, I mean, you can't really. I think there's the Elite Trainer box you can get from the Pokemon Center in the US. If you're in Europe, you're dead for luck. Uh, they just don't care, really. Um, and why should they? It's not like there are fans in Europe or anything of Pokemon. Heavens no. Uh, and as with every set we get a um, a promo card, full art, and this time it's Arceus. And I have to admit this is one of the nicest ones. It's got a rainbow of colours obviously because Arceus can be all types if he has the plates and stuff. Um, looking at his attacks, like they're useful I suppose if you're running an Arceus deck or running something that you know you maybe just as a good little boost for a, you know for another element deck because he couldn't be anything i think which is pretty cool and as with always we get the pin not gonna lie i'm not crazy about this pin it's okay but it's not like amazing or anything um last last month streaming one was really really good and i don't know like i'm not wild about arceus in general general arceus arceus it it doesn't matter how you pronounce it, I, I accept all. So we have two boosters, as always, with from the Generation set. There is Pikachu and there is Charizard. I'm going to go ahead and open Pikachu first. Um, and also, we lost from... Well, we lost from learned video. We learned from last video, or I did at least, in the Shaman box, that the um, best way to open these, really, if you want to finish on the Rare and the Radiant Collection thing, is to put the back three to the front. You do get one of the cards from Radiant Collection, it's the uncommon one right at the front. Uh, as we see here, it's the Charmander one, last from Radiant Collection, uh, which is fantastic. So I have the Hollow Charizard, I have Charmeleon, which I got in last uh, month's box, now I have the Charmander. So I've got the full set and that makes me incredibly happy. We also have, ah, the Maintenance. I believe I remarked before that this is an incredibly unwieldy tool because you got all the light things, then a fucking hammer, which I imagine just weighs it all down. Uh, also got that Persian card, which I think I've pulled in every pack with the, the artwork that I've seen in previous sets. Oh, we have a Paras. That's really cute. That's just a Paras hiding out in the undergrowth. That's that's really nice artwork there. It's kind of, you know, it, it's not flashy or anything. It's just... Uh, I wouldn't say realistic, but it's not realistic, obviously. Unfortunately, Pokemon are not real, despite what Pokemon Go tells you. Uh, Raihorn, I think I've seen this art before, but maybe from booster packs from this set. I am not sure. We have a Zubat, uh, and I'm sure I've seen that from another set. A Zubat uh, swimming in the cave, and is also everywhere when they're not Weedles and stuff. Also in Pokemon Go. I'll stop talking about Pokemon Go now. And uh, we have Ponyta. Ponyta is... Is a cool, is a cool Pokemon. I have nothing else to say really. Oh, right. Okay, our reverse is a Pokeball. That's really nice. Uh, not sure if you can see there, but there's like a Pokeball outline uh, on the reverse foil part. We have, oh, uh, we have a Hollow Swirlix. That's cool. So as with the rest of Radiant Collection, it's got a little um, foil imprinting on it as well. Those are sweet, I think, like jelly beans and um, poker puffs. That's the one. I was going to say macarons, but that's from Gen 5, isn't it? And our rare is a hollow Gengar. 
Nice. Wow. Holy sh... Oh, that's great artwork. That is... Mmm. Wow, I'm really digging that. That is... Oh, is the whole... The whole card is shiny. What? Is this... Ra this isn't Radiant Collection. Is it? No. This is... This is regular. Okay, then. Wow. That's really cool. So the whole card... I'm not sure how well it's coming up on screen. But yeah, see the... Even the, like, text bit is uh, foiled a bit. Which is really nice. And we're back to the Charmander then. Wow. That was a really good pack. I think... Already that was like kind of worth it for me. I really like Gengar and obviously I'm not opening as many of these packs because you only get two to one of these boxes. I am getting a Blastoise uh, a Blastoise Blue Collection uh, box which comes with four of these booster packs and uh, a Blastoise like promo thing and I think a pin but I'm not sure about that. So let's do the same this time again. Front three is that a Pikachu? That is a Raichu. Oh, wow. That's a really cute Raichu. Also, Mega Raichu, uh, not Mega Raichu, Alola Raichu announced today. Holy shit, it's so cute. Uh, as is this Raichu, actually. That, that is really, that is a really lovely. Raichu doesn't get enough love, I think. Ooh, nice. We got a Honker. Got Gengar just now. If we get a Ghastly, I will have the whole line. We have a Mr. Mime. I thought that was hollow for a second. It's obviously not, because it's the third card. Uh, that's cool. Very sunny. He's looking up into the sky. Oh, nice. We got a grass energy. That's cool. These energies are always quite nice, because of the backgrounds and stuff. They look a bit different. Got a Geodude. I swear to God, I've seen that art. Um, is that Flashfire? Was that the Geodude from Flashfire? I could be wrong. I could very well be wrong. Ooh! We've got a Pikachu. Now, I have um, hollow versions of some of these cards, because in the UK, if you buy Pokemon items, uh, I'm not sure how long this is running, but you get hollow um, variants of some of these things with a stamp, with the um, that Pikachu face, basically, the, like, 20th. It's worth going in to get it, really, because, you know, I don't know if they're that rare or anything, but, you know, they're nice to have. Got a Caterpie. That's some reprinted art as well. That's cool. Oh, we've got a reverse magma. That is really oh, that's a really nice artwork of magma there. It's uh, that's really cool. Our rare thing is oh, it's a flibibi. No fluet. Oh, that's that's lovely, and it's got no oh, flowers and stuff. That's cool. That looks like it's kind of um, katakana or something, but it's actually not. Well, not that I, not that I can see. Anyway, that's kind of a very fancy that kind of. And we have a rare Jinx to end on, and why not? Uh, you know that I'm, I'm not disappointed with that pull either. Jinx is cool, and it's always nice to have any of the rares or well, any of the cards from this set, really, because as I said, it is rather difficult to get out your hands on. So, as uh, a quick recap, got the. Um, Floette, which is really nice, and uh, we got a Hollow Swirlix and a Hollow Gengar. That is not bad. That is definitely worth uh, getting the box for and stuff. I will be back next month with um, the Kel no Victini box, um, and I may upload if I get her in time the Blastoise blue collection box which has a few more of these boosters and stuff keep an eye on my channel for upcoming videos and other stuff like that until next time don't don't displease god